Hi everybody, this is Lucy from Southwark Libraries. Welcome to our Summer Reading Challenge events and today I'm going to show you how to make a silly sock puppet and a slithery snake. So to make your sock puppet you're going to need some coloured paper or some coloured felt. You might make yourself some eyes out of paper and a, and a felt pen or you might even have some googly eyes. Um, there's some pom-poms which could be useful but not necessary. A pair of scissors, a glue stick, some wool and of course a sock. So you might find one that's lost its, uh, its other half somewhere around the house. Don't use somebody's best pair. So I've chosen a purple sock and I'm going to put it with the back of it facing me. There's the heel and I'm going to get a bit of red felt and I'm going to cut out a tongue and I'm also going to cut out a round red nose. So there we are. It can be quite roughly done. And there's the round red nose. So there they are, the tongue and the nose. So the tongue is going to go sort of halfway between the toe and the heel. So just put a blob of, of glue there and stick that on facing down. And then turn the sock over and put the red nose on the top but the end of the toe. There we are. Stick that one there. Then I'm going to get a pair of eyes. This is a very easy sock puppet. There we are. I'm going to stick them on there. So get the glue one and two. You can spend a little longer just putting lots of glue on there. Now we're going to do the hair. I'm going to just show you this ball of wool here. So if you get it in your hand and wrap it round a few times, whoop, can you see what I'm doing? I'm going round and round and round. You can do different hairstyles. You could put hair bunches in as well. So I think that might be enough hair. And I'm going to cut it. And I'm just going to cut the ends like that and like that and I'm going to actually use one of these end pieces to tie around the middle like that oops lost a little bit there um, it doesn't matter if it's a bit messy because they are rather silly looking so I've tied it round nice and tight. Then you could actually get somebody to help you here by sewing it on or we can glue it but you're going to have to let it dry which might take a little time so just be patient. I'm going to put the hair here. I'm going to just put quite a bit of that glue so it does hold it on. There we are and here goes the hair on there. Oh, press it down hard and there you go. You've got yourself a very silly sock puppet. Here it comes and can you see its funny mouth there? So to make this leathery snake you're going to need one of one leg from a pair of tights. Again, check out whose tights they are and what you're doing to them. So this is the snake. So that's the back of it. So I'm going to start here. I've already drawn round um, a jam jar. And here I am. I'm going to cut out the inside of his mouth. Three. Oops, let's do that. Then, oops, 
Then I've got tongue cut out already and I'm going to sort of stick it through, make a little hole there. If you just fold the mouth in half, make a little split. That's it. Stick the tongue through and glue that down. There you go. It doesn't have to be very neat because that's the back. Then we're going to glue that. You can spend a little longer than me. Then you're going to stick that like that. It will need some time to dry. That's the tongue and that flaps around. So let's turn it over. We're going to be letting that dry. Should we do the eyes next? I've chosen some very, very orangey glow in the dark pom poms. I've cut a couple of pieces of paper, circles, so I'm going to oh, stick them on. It does get a bit sticky. I usually get stuck onto everything here. Stick those on there. They're the eyes. Oh, fabulously sneaky eyes. Um, let's stick those on there. I think you'll probably spend a little longer. Look at those eyes. There we go. Press them down. I am getting a bit stuck on there. Then I've cut out some diamond shapes. This is going to be on the back of the, the snake's back. So those will be stuck there and little bits to go in the middle if you want to. Just find whatever you've got around the house. You might find some things that you can recycle. So those are going to go on there. I won't lift this one up because I think uh, at the moment, as you can see, these not all been put together yet. But I will show you the other one a little bit closer up. And there you go. You put your arm in. They're very silly, aren't they? You can maybe scare somebody with that. So do check out Southwark Library's website, find out how to join the Summer Reading Challenge and join the Silly Squad in their adventures. You can use your library card to borrow a great number of ebooks and we look forward to seeing you back in the library soon. Bye!